Paco de Leon, finance for the people, getting a grip on your finances. Whether you're struggling with savings, overwhelmed by debt, or just seeking a smarter way to manage your finances, this blink is a brief guide to financial well-being. Discover practical strategies that go beyond traditional budgeting and saving advice. Learn how to reshape your relationship with money, turning it from a source of stress into a tool for growth and fulfillment. This blink offers not just financial wisdom, but a new perspective that aligns your financial decisions with your personal goals. Join us to improve your financial awareness and create a more lucrative, stress-free financial future. Ready to get smarter with your smackers? Gain more moxie with your moolah? Then let's go. Change your money mindset to achieve financial freedom. Let's talk about the money mindset. Think of it as the lens through which you view all things financial. It's more than just numbers in a bank account. It's about the deep-seated beliefs and attitudes that shape your financial landscape. Picture money itself as a character in your life story, one you've been relating to since childhood, based on tales passed down from family dinners and societal norms. Now ask yourself, is your money story a tale of caution or of abundance? Our money stories usually depict it as either the hero or the villain, subtly guiding our financial decisions. If you were raised to believe that money is the root of all evil, you might be wary of it. If you were told money makes the world go round, you might chase it relentlessly. But here's the twist. These narratives can be rewritten. How? By recognizing that our money script isn't just a story, but a director of our financial fate. So, if your money story isn't serving you, why not write a new act, one with you as the protagonist who takes charge of their financial destiny? Reflect on your fiscal habits by journaling. It's like putting a mirror up to your spending patterns, showing the reasoning behind each dollar spent. Jot down your thoughts on money, how it made you feel when you had too little, the relief or guilt when you were flush, or the pride in earning your first paycheck. As you unravel these threads, you might uncover beliefs that no longer serve you. The aim here isn't just to identify these money myths, but also to challenge them. Finding evidence of money's positive impact can also help you shift from a scarcity mindset to one of abundance. Remember, this isn't a one-act play. It's a continuous performance that takes patience and practice. Of course, rewriting your financial story takes more than just thought. Job markets and economic policies are also significant, but understanding the inner narrative provides you with the script to perform better in the grand theatre of economics. Here's how you can start your rewrite. First, cozy up with a journal and write down your earliest money memory. What did you learn from it? Then, track your current cash monologues. What do you tell yourself when you receive a bill or a paycheck? Be honest, nobody is judging. Next, highlight any money myths in your script. Are they tragedies or triumphs? Do they whisper limitations or sing of possibilities? Then, for every limiting belief, write a counter-narrative. If you've written, money is hard to come by, draft a new scene in which money is a resource that you're able to attract and manage. Now, rehearse your new role daily. Practice spending with intention, saving with purpose, and investing in your financial literacy. And if you stumble upon a complex plot twist, like systemic inequality or a tough job market, seek a co-director. This could be a financial advisor or a counsellor who can provide expert guidance tailored to your new financial plan. Your money mindset is as flexible as any character you wish to play. So take the director's chair, call, action and watch as your new money story unfolds with careful spending and saving taking center stage. Spending habits and how to control them. Many of us have a nagging fear of not having enough money. This anxiety stems from more than just the state of our finances. It's a deeply ingrained emotion brought on by our brain's constant search for threats. It's a feeling that distorts our view of scarcity. But what if we could shift that perspective? By taking a closer look at our spending, we can understand the reality of our finances and, more importantly, how we feel about them. By tracking and understanding, we can learn the why behind spending. 
so start logging every dollar you spend for a month. Are you seeing any harmful patterns? Now let's talk about spending systems. Create a spending plan that respects your future self's feelings. Then you'll have foresight and spend in a way that your future self will appreciate. More on this later. As you break down your prior spending, you're left with a record of lessons learned about where to tighten the purse strings and where you have wiggle room. Consider your fixed bills wherever possible, reduce redundancy, and look for better deals. Saving is like pruning a tree. The necessary cuts encourage healthy growth. Take advantage of bank and credit card statements as a historical record, a breadcrumb trail of where your money has been. Let these statements guide you to smarter spending and saving habits. Finally, money management is about balancing the scales of spending and satisfaction. By acknowledging the emotional undercurrents that guide your financial decisions and creating a thoughtful system of expenditure, you can find peace with your finances. It's a journey toward a richer life, where enough is not an amount, but a state of harmony. Use financial safeguards to simplify money management. In this section, we'll discuss setting up financial guardrails for a more structured and stress-free financial life. Let's get into it. Think of your finances as separate channels of water feeding into distinct pools for specific purposes. One pool is for the essentials. Let's call it the bills and life account. The other? It's for enjoyment, so call it the fun and BS account. This split simplifies your financial outlook, allowing clear views of where your money flows and why. Now, aligning this system with your income schedule is key. It ensures that funds are available when needed, maximizing cash flow and relieving concerns about running out. And having a cash cushion. This is your financial safety net, keeping you safe if the flow of money ever stops. Another way to cut back on spending is to bring gratitude into your fiscal thinking. It's a powerful tool to combat the buy more bug. When you're grateful for what you already have, the thirst for the latest gadget starts to lose its allure. How do you kick this habit? Simple. Two bank accounts, one for essentials, one for fun, and a clear plan for how your paycheck gets divided between them. This is your budget blueprint. Stick to this, and you're not just preventing bank account blunders. You're building a dam against the flood of impulse buys. To wrap up, steering your finances into a stress-free zone goes beyond savvy account management. It's about creating a mindset of abundance and gratitude. By setting aside money in separate accounts that align with your earnings and adding a cushion equivalent to one month's spending for both, you lay a firm basis for financial health. This strategy transforms your approach to money, turning it from a source of stress into a tool for achieving your life's goals and pleasures. To make more money, create a plan and stick to it. All right, let's talk about growing your green. So you've got dreams, right? Maybe it's a beach house, or maybe you want to retire by 50. But your bank account seems to say, nope, not happening. The good news? You're not stuck with that number. Let's rethink, retool, and ramp up those earnings. Because let's face it, pinching pennies only gets you so far. Income. It's the lifeblood of your financial health. You can't just shrink your spending and hope for wealth to waltz in. No, you've got to turn on the earnings tap. Think bigger paycheck, smarter work, and maybe even being the boss of your own gig. Here's a thought. Shake off the idea that your paycheck is set in stone. Get into the boss's office and negotiate like you're brokering world peace. You could also hunt for a job that'll boost your balance more than the last one. Or why not channel your entrepreneurial spirit and start your own business? While we're here, let's not forget the power of banding together with co-workers for fairer wages and supporting those big-picture policy changes. Now, about dreams. Sure, they're shiny beacons of hope, but fixating on them too hard can be like chasing rainbows. They're pretty to look at, but tricky to catch. Flip the script and focus on what you do every day. Think about the process, not the prize. Aim to build a financial system, run it consistently, and tweak it when things get wobbly. Because when your system's solid, hitting those goals becomes a byproduct, not just a wish. 
the behaviors that lead to leveling up. That's your new to-do list. Develop a rhythm that gets you in the groove of those behaviors. Regular action turns into habits. And if you hit a snag, that's not failure. It's a warning sign that your system needs a tune-up. Remember, the goal isn't to worship at the altar of results, but to revel in the ritual of getting there. Each day you stick to your system, you're paving the way to that beach house or early retirement. Small, consistent actions are your power move. Make them count. Earn with intention, grow with a plan, and watch your financial roots bloom. Now, let's move on to dealing with debt. Reframe debt and defeat credit card woes. Debt. It's a four-letter word that often conjures up feelings of shame and failure. But what if we saw debt not as a financial boogeyman, but as a stepping stone to growth? That's right. It's time to change the narrative of debt from one of despair to one of strategic planning and opportunity. Historically, debt was never the villain in the story. It was a strategic tool for community building. Fast forward to today and smart debt, such as company loans or mortgages, can still be our allies in wealth creation. The trick? Use debt wisely, not as a makeshift solution for daily expenses. So, how do you rewrite your debt story? It starts with recognizing the impact of debt on our mental health and seeking support when needed. But there's more. We need to shift our mindset. We must start telling ourselves a new money story. As previously mentioned, this means cultivating gratitude for what we have and living within our means, turning our focus from what we lack to the abundance that's already ours. Now, let's discuss credit cards, a common and insidious form of debt. Credit cards are easy to use and promise instant satisfaction, which can lead to overspending. If we fall into the minimum payment trap, we risk making payments for years without reducing the principal amount. To break free, you have to accept change, even when it's uncomfortable. Taking responsibility for debt is key, which might mean pausing or stopping credit card use completely, as well as clearly listing your debts. Identifying and focusing on a meaningful why can make reducing debt feel less like a sacrifice and more like a worthwhile activity. A strong why might be a personal target, like wanting to buy a house or travel, or it can be tied to a wider social issue like wanting to donate to a cause or help a loved one. Keeping the why in mind makes it simpler to stay dedicated to lowering debt even when temptations arise. So, how do we create a sensible payoff plan? Tools like Unbury.me can be lifesavers in mapping out an effective strategy. As previously discussed, you'll also need to strike a balance between cutting spending and increasing income, as both contribute to speedier debt repayment Negotiating lower interest rates and exploring debt consolidation or refinancing options can also provide relief. However, the linchpin is committing to your payoff plan and rewriting the habits and mindsets that led to debt in the first place. Your financial journey is more than a crusade. It's a path to personal empowerment. It takes discipline, innovation in budget management and boldness to negotiate better terms. But every step toward debt freedom builds greater mental and emotional strength. You're not just getting closer to financial independence. You're also shaping a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. To Finance for the People by Paco de Leon Here are some final thoughts. Throughout your financial journey, you'll realize that money decisions are much more than just transactions. They're crucial moments in your life story. To make sound financial choices, you must first shift your thinking, questioning previous ideas about wealth and success. It's about aligning your resources with your values and creating an impact that goes beyond your immediate surroundings. With dedication, you can learn to play the game by your own rules, giving yourself agency and control while also lowering overall stress. Ultimately, your financial health is directly related to your personal growth. So keep an abundant mindset, even in tough times, and always prioritize investing in yourself. You are deserving of a financial path that not only grows your wealth, but also enriches every aspect of your life.